A Defence Force review has pinpointed Brisbane as the best strategic option for a future naval base, supporting new submarines and warships. The Port of Brisbane has already been involved in high-level talks about the proposal. The review suggests the base could be built on reclaimed land extending into Moreton Bay and has highlighted the city as an attractive location for Navy recruitment. The findings about the city's strategic suitability come as no surprise to naval officers who served at Brisbane's base HMAS Morton, which closed in the early 90s. 730 Queensland spoke to two former naval commanders about their reflections on the Navy's long association with Brisbane. The Navy presence in Brisbane is a, quite a fascinating story and actually goes right back to the 1870s when uh, Russia was uh, deemed as a threat, potential threat to the colony of Queensland and residents began to agitate for building up a naval force to help protect the colony. So they lobbied the government, the government responded and in 1884 we acquired our first two gunboats to protect the colony of Queensland. <laughs> 1911 they set up a depot here in Brisbane uh, just across the river from us uh, at the corner of Alice and William Street and that depot grew and evolved in its roles but eventually was commissioned as a naval establishment and uh, was initially named HMAS Penguin 4. Then in 1940 it was renamed HMAS Brisbane and in 1942 it was renamed HMAS Morton and then uh, in 1946 they relocated that establishment to its eventual long-term home at New Farm and it was there for about 50 years. I was uh, commanding officer of HMS Morton in uh, 1979 through 1981 uh, and this was a time when Morton was really building up as a base for the amphibious squadron which had been recently formed. We had a, a ship's company of about 250 officers and sailors Morton was really booming. The base's role was to provide amphibious craft for the Army and reservist training. Navy has always relied on a very strong support from the reserve uh, forces and it was an important training depot for our, our reserves. Morton played an important role, uh, particularly as a, um, I guess, a flagship for the Navy in, in Queensland. Queensland's always been a, a very strong source of recruits for people entering the Navy. In a sense, it was the predominant presence here. The Gayander slipped its moorings and was escorted out to sea, ending a connection of almost 90 years. Brisbane will get a new heavy landing craft, the Tobruk, of 6,000 tonnes to replace the current Gayanda. When I was in command of Morton, we had Navy ships berthing alongside, frigates, destroyers. I have been to Brisbane on a number of occasions in a number of ships, and Brisbane has always been a wonderful place to come to. The Navy spread itself around Brisbane, which was really good, because all our officers and sailors, there was no accommodation in the wool shed. So we were all uh, based outside, so you know, we, we, we fitted into the local community. The cost cutting that took place in the early 90s uh, put a lot of pressure um, across the whole country and uh, decisions were taken that to close a number of establishments around Australia and uh, unfortunately Morton was closed uh, in 1994. There'll be a phased shutdown. By the middle of next year there'll be only a handful of Navy reservists left and a lot of memories. <laughs> It eventually uh, was decommissioned in 1994. I was very sad because we do have this tremendous rapport and tremendous strength in the community with all those people who have served or who are serving 
in the Navy, and suddenly we lost the naval base. The RSL has whipped up a storm over HMAS Morton's closure. It says, without those ships, how can Queensland's long coastline be patrolled? This is one of the, the great things about the possibility of moving the Navy to a forward base like uh, here in Brisbane, is that we're much closer to the sort of places that, uh, that the Navy might be needed. Uh, out in the islands in the Pacific, up north, who knows, but we are much closer and that's why strategically it makes a lot of sense to base naval ships here in Brisbane.